But the coolest thing about penguins is that they are monogamous and the pairs return to the same site each year. Oh, get up, get out, smile adventure, yeah. You don't need to go far, cause you're already there. All you will learn, make it work, and you will learn the price of life itself. Welcome back everybody, my name is Nora. I make motorcycle adventure travel videos. And we completed our journey from uh, the North Cape to... <laughs> from the North Cape to the South Cape, from Norway to South Africa. And these are our last few days together in Cape Town before Jojo is flying home to Austria by himself and I will stay here a little bit longer. Also, something very special happened, um, but I'm gonna save it for the end of this video. Before I dive into the video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you guys for all your patience. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I, I was never good at keeping a schedule. I, I don't think I'm ever gonna be good at keeping a schedule. What I need is an editor. So if you're passionate about motorcycles, adventure and travel, and you wanna help me out, send me an email and let's get these videos out the door together faster. Bye! I think most of you know that this video is, like the footage of this video is already quite old. It's now April, right? Right. It's now April and these this footage is from May 2019, so it's almost two years old. So I'm really eager to finish this chapter on my channel and start a new chapter, but I do want to finish off properly I want to share everything that happened on this trip because it was in so many ways a life-changing adventure. South Cape, we went back to Cape Town, stayed at our favorite sort of hostel where I've already been like three or four times. We left, it was still like end of summer, still kind of, it was still really nice and beachy and things like that. But, but when we came back after our trip to Namibia and reaching the South Cape, it was autumn and it was cold. I, I always come to Cape Town in summer, so I didn't know exactly how cold it could get, but I was really surprised. But we did have a few fun things to do. Um, we gave a presentation at a motorcycle garage, which was really fun. Got to meet some of my Cape Townian fans. And um, my best memory of that day is um, local family who came in a bit too late to actually watch the presentation that we gave but we took pictures and then they invited us for dinner so we get, went over to their house and had dinner with them and yeah that will just always be a very good memory for me for us I'm, I'm really sure that was also a really good experience for Jojo so that was really cool We bought two surfboards just because they are ridiculously cheap here compared to Europe. We bought a longboard which is good for like wave surfing and learning and I hope for France and Portugal as well. And we bought a wave kite board which is going to be fun in the Netherlands. And we had one last task to do, which was go see the penguins and ride Chapman's Peak together. Now, you know, I lost all the GoPro footage, so I don't have 
anything of good of Chapman's Peak, even though it's such an iconic piece of road and on a motorcycle it's super fun. But the penguins, oh boy, do I have a lot of footage of the penguins for you. And um, I know I get overexcited with animals, but um, yeah, these are just too cute to be true. So yeah, let's take a look. Hey babe, what we do? Well, we washed away all the traces of the trip. Of the trip. Thirty-four really thousand k. That's not true. Well, it also revealed the scars. The, the scars, yes. I mean, it's not too bad. Handlebars here. Crash bars. Yeah, no, that also didn't survive. And this, this Tanzanian dirt is permanently. Burned in. Burned into the exhaust. <laughs> but otherwise, and honestly, I'm really surprised by the endurance stickers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stickers are impressive. Because look, they're all like. You yeah, know, they're the prettiest stickers that are still on the bike. That's true. Well, not too bad. Welcome to Simonstown everybody! We are here to see the African penguin with their distinctive pink patches of skin above the eyes and a black facial mask. The pink glands are actually there to help them with their temperature regulation. To cope with changing temperatures, the blood is sent to the glands to be cooled off by the air. Roughly 4 million African penguins existed at the beginning of the 19th century, but have declined 95% since pre-industrial times. Come on guys, I think we can do better. The total breeding population across both South Africa and Namibia, where these animals live, fell to a historic low of about 20,000 pairs in 2019. African penguins forage in the open sea where they pursue fish such as sardines and anchovies and marine invertebrates such as squid and small shrimp. Due to a collapse of the sardine population from overfishing in 1960, the African penguins diet has shifted towards anchovies to some extent. When foraging, African penguins carry out dives that reach an average depth of 25 meters and last for 70 seconds. Although they can dive as deep as 130 meters for four and a half minutes. That's crazy. But the coolest thing about penguins is that they are monogamous and the pairs return to the same site each year to breed. A clutch of two eggs are laid in the sand under the boulders or bush bushes. An incubation is undertaken equally by both parents for around 40 days. After birth, at least one parent guards the chick for about one month, whereafter the chick joins a kindergarten with other chicks and both parents head out to sea to forge for each day. That's so cool. Anyway, we loved hanging out with the penguins here at the beach all day. It's so cool that you can get up close and personal with these animals. We took our time to observe and it was really cool to just watch the animals in their natural habitat.
So on the way back, Jojo wanted to ride through Scarborough and follow the coastline back to the other side of Cape Town, which is in Cape Town is big, by the way. <laughs> it's big as in I'm Dutchy, I measure everything in bicycle distance. So if you need to drive one hour from one side of the town to the other, I'm like, yeah, it's gigantic. So follow my train of thought here. We were already en route the entire day, walking around, riding, chilling, getting later in the afternoon so we decided to go home also because i was feeling really tired at this point i'm four and a half months pregnant so all you ladies out there you know sometimes just normal activities make you feel exhausted so at one point jojo stops somewhere on the side of the road and i'm like okay you want to take a riding shot he's like yeah sure so I start filming him and then he rides on and then takes the next exit and I'm like thinking in my head oh my god that's such a horrible shot because she didn't ride far enough and it would have been so nice if he just would have ridden around the corner and then it would have been such a beautiful shot because it's a really beautiful spot <laughs> so I'm already getting super grumpy and then put the camera away I pull over to where he stopped and then he's getting off the motorcycle and taking off his helmet. I'm like, oh my God, I just want to go home. I'm so tired. And then he's like, could you please get off the motorcycle too? And I'm like, still not getting it. Even though I should have, because we talked about, it wasn't, yeah, this entire trip was just one big relationship test. Not even a test. It wasn't a test. It was just a confirmation of, that we are just a really good couple and a really good team. And I love this guy so much. It's unbelievable. Getting pregnant is already a confirmation, but yeah, this this roller coaster ride has really proven it to me that it doesn't matter what's gonna hit us in the future, we're gonna be okay. So it, <laughs> it finally clicked. I don't even remember what he said. I just remember that he didn't drop on one knee because he thought that was too cheesy so he just asked me in the end will you marry me and I said yes <laughs> so yeah now we are officially engaged for almost two years I should clean this ring so this is still like the bottom ring is my adventure ring because my mom bought that for my first trip and I think I will always be married to adventure and you know, I just, I just want to keep it to remind me that what I'm capable of and then this is gonna be our this is my official engagement ring so yeah we did plan on getting married this year but you know corona and for us it's about the party and not necessarily about the whole ceremony so we're gonna postpone until big parties and kissing and hugging friends and family is allowed again. So postponing that part, but yeah, super cool spot. We did take some pictures in the end. This spot is called Misty Cliffs because almost always there's a thin layer of like mist hanging over the waves, especially if it's big, it's just the waves generating the fog and it's just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that is how this trip sort of ends with us getting engaged. Um, I have one more episode for you where I stay behind in Cape Town for a week. And um, yeah, just want to tie in some knots and recap a little bit and tell you how we did when we came home. But that's all for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you like this episode. Please give it a big Thumbs up if you did, or leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Lots of love. Bye. A big shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. A special thanks to Paul Mack, Pradeep Singh, Charles Sykes, Avi Matt, Jeremy Thorpe, Matthew Boxholder, Robin and Rebecca, Martin and Melissa, Robert Schulze, Cindy Balrich, Muneeb Said, Victor Bart and then the priest. I couldn't have done it without you. 
If you're also interested in becoming part of the AKB tribe, go check out my Patreon page where you can find out more about how to support these videos.